Hi, my name is Joe Kim, and I'm the general manager of HP Software Product globally for HP Software. Previous to taking the HP Propel general management role, I was actually the chief technology officer for both the apps business and the ops business within software. And during that period, I got to talk to thousands and thousands of customers around all of the different types of things that were happening in the industry, be it big data, be it cloud, or mobility. But honestly, those are things that we've been talking about for a few years now. It wasn't until recently that it became a real pro you know, project for a lot of our large customers. And what they're looking to do is to really move away from sort of the traditional way of delivering IT services to really becoming a service broker. So what does this actually mean? Um, what service brokerage actually means is that you are trying to get as much business value as possible out of every service that IT has to provide. And sometimes you might want to be the provider of this service. I'm fantastic and I'm great at providing this service to my end users. But if you're not, you don't have to try to provide every service internally. You can go ahead and outsource some of that activity uh, to maybe an Amazon. Uh, in, so you can get EC2 instances or S3 instances. Or, um, you know, be able to now starting to broker those services together to drive down cost and increase effectiveness and speed for the business. So this is a trend that we're seeing and a lot of our customers are asking for this capability uh, from the industry. So uh, really looking at it holistically from a business perspective, no matter what kind of business you're in today, more and more are becoming digital businesses. And what that means is, even though if a, a company is a, a, a gas company, a manufacturing company, or maybe even an airline, um, the technology portion of how they deliver those services are becoming integral to the other services within the business. So, so really what's going on is the technical bus business services and the regular business services are starting to merge to become a digital business. Let me give you an example of what that means. Uh, for example, you know, recently, I would say in the next last couple years, a lot of banks started to come up with the ability for you to be able to take a check, be able to take a picture of that check and then deposit it into your account immediately. Now imagine, you know, from a digital perspective, if you are the first bank to be able to offer a service like that to your customer, you're going to have such an advantage over your competitors that you're going to be able to gain more traction and more business and more customers um, for that specific um, industry and customer base. And so that's what's going on right now. Uh, the, the terminology around cloud and social and mobile, these are disruptions that are happening. But ultimately, you know, those are sort of a means to an end, right? What is the cloud? Well, it, it, it's able to give you speed and, and it's able to give you additional ways for you to be able to innovate more quickly. And so I think what is really happening and why these conversations are occurring more often now than before is because of this huge uh, movement in all businesses to become digital businesses. So uh, us at HP Software, we believe that ultimately big data changes everything. And what we mean by that is we produce a lot of data from a day-to-day -day basis, but if you think about the way that technologists and IT traditionally has used data, it's really around the, the structured data, the things that I can link together. But most of the data that's created today, either through Facebook or maybe you're sending an email or, or you're texting or, or things like that, are really unstructured data. And so if you look at sort of the, the data landscape, there is much, much, much more unstructured data being created on a second by second base basis than structured data. And if you're able to harness and link, really connect the intelligence between what's there from a structured data and an unstructured data perspective, you can gain insight into a lot of the things that you did not know before and be able to innovate at any moment. Honestly, in terms of the investments that we've made at HP Software, it really aligns with that thought that, that big data changes everything. So just to give you a few examples over the past 12 months of the things that we've released, we now have on the operations side things like operations analytics. It's a new type of monitoring tool where you can take structured data, and unstructured data and be able to combine it together to be able to predict what may happen in your environment so you can take action before a service ends up going down. 
we have, even in the mobility space, being able to use big data by big, having monitoring capability on people's cell phones, right? So when I deploy a specific uh, service or an application onto the App Store or Google Play Marketplace, I can actually track how fun the specific application is by user and be able to take and analyze that data so that you can continuously improve your mobile app. And then from a, I would say, less of a, a brain's perspective, but really connecting all these things together in a central user experience perspective is HP Propel. And what HP Propel allows you to do is no matter where your specific data sets are, be it traditional IT data, or maybe it might be out in the cloud somewhere, or maybe unstructured data, we have an open framework for you to be able to bring in all of this data in a very simplified way, be able to present it in a portal, or a catalog, or a knowledge module, it's basically an application within Propel, out to the end user. And, and we're really thinking about this in a heterogeneous way. So a lot of these products that I have mentioned isn't just if you work with HP software, if you happen to have other pieces of technology that you want to integrate, it will be able to seamlessly integrate uh, with those products as well. One of the other benefits of working with HP, I work for HP software, and I believe we uh, create really, really beautiful and, and fantastic products, but we also have other wings as well. So we have we own sort of the infrastructure space. We have a lot of, lot of innovation happening there with things like Moonshot. We have the software space, which I've discussed in this, in this interview. And then we also have the services arm. And so really, you don't have to try to bounce around everywhere to, to be able to um, deliver value back to your business as an IT organization. You can actually just come to HP and we have all of these different services that we can bundle together and really have that one basically person to go kick if something goes wrong. And it's, it's, a, it's a fantastic offering that we can put together for our customers. This past week, I had the opportunity to fly into South Africa and meet a lot of our customers and partners alike, and, and it, it's been fantastic. The, and the, the city is wonderful here in Johannesburg, and uh, the people have been extremely friendly. Um, and, and, and what I've noticed, right, even coming from you know, America and having visited a lot of European and, and cities in the APJ, is that these disruptions that I, I've been talking about around cloud mobility and big data and the, this movement towards service brokerage is not unique to just those regions. It's happening here in Africa as well. And so I just recently visited a, a bank just a few days ago and even yesterday when I went to go visit a very large telecommunications company here in Africa they are also looking to make this migration from just trying to provide every single service within their four walls to really migrating to becoming an IT service broker. And so again, it's not something unique. It's something that we've seen other, other places that's happening here. Uh, what's interesting, I think, and, and really unique about, and maybe even an opportunity here, is that uh, because a lot of the implementations of the, the IT sector has happened, I think, much later, than some of the other regions where they've had implementations for 40, 50 years, is that you can innovate much, much more quickly because there's a lot of classical stuff from 20 years ago that you really don't have to worry about. And so you, if, if, the, if there's an opportunity here, if, if grabbed correctly and, and working with the right people, to be able to bypass and really leapfrog a lot of the other uh, cities that I've visited because the history just isn't there for you know, really classical or clunky pieces of software and hardware. Uh, it's been a fantastic visit here in uh, South Af Africa in Johannesburg. Uh, my name is Joseph Kim, and I am the general manager for HP Propel.